esteemed participants of the summit, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be present on this important summit of the future and will not take much of your time by quoting the characters of Alan Ford comics and by saying that it is better to have peace and cooperation than war and conflicts, that it is better to be healthy than ill, and I do not want to repeat the empty stories about the observance of international law norms because the international public law applies only to small and not so strong ones, and only in cases when they are not attacked by the same big ones. And speaking about the most powerful countries, it is incredible with how much lies and hypocrisy they brutally violate the law of the United Nations and more than anything, peace. Peace is today more important than anything, but no one sees peace as an important value. But all the big ones, while justifying their big politics, speak about a just peace, which means that they should win and that the other ones not only should lose, but they should be completely destroyed. All the stakeholders, with no exceptions, will refer to those norms of international law which are in their favor, and they will intentionally forget all they have been doing and that they are doing today. They will be reminded of the respective by the other big ones, which will also forget all those misdeeds, but they will find endless violations of the international law in the case of the first ones. Serbia supports the plan of the UN Secretary General. Republic of Serbia support a pact for the future in spite of having remarks and in spite of the fact that we would like to see more compromise done for the developing countries and that the big countries could better understand the needs of the small ones. All five chapters are important to us. Sustainable development and financing for development, international peace and security, science, technology and innovation and digital cooperation, youth and future generations and transforming the global governance. But what kind of financing for development, position of youth and sustainable development can we speak about when we have huge regional conflicts in the world and tensions involving, involving almost all biggest world powers? Speaking of remarks, Serbia supports the demand of the group 77 developing countries, joined also by the People's Republic of China, and we believe that financing of the problem of climate change should be a separate issue and not a part of the financing for development. We believe that the US and the EU will have more understanding for reforms of the existing financing architecture. Additionally, we believe that the remarks of Brazil and Russia, where the issues of the climate and the climate change are more related to security than to development, are serious ones and that they deserve attention. Additionally, Serbia believes that it is very important to find the balance between the Western point of view on the issue of the rule of law on one side and the demand of the numerous countries when it comes to the family and traditional values. Because human rights are one thing and their abuse and overemphasizing lead towards the destruction of traditional conservative societies, which many countries worldwide cannot accept and particularly when it comes to family values. And precisely those values are cherished and nurtured by the Republic of Serbia. Serbia is on its European path. Unlike many others, Serbia observes the norms and regulations of international public law. At the same time, Serbia is a modern country with a big growth rate but also not ready to sacrifice its own traditional values, and it will be capable of resisting all the attempts from the outside that the so-called woke movement is imposing to it as the highest possible value and the state of society that we must allegedly reach in the future. I thank you very much.